In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a step-by-step -step approach in creating this great looking layout using our new photo frames add-on for Photoshop Elements. Now I'm going to be using the brand new version of Photoshop Elements, which is Photoshop Elements 9 on a PC platform. But for you uh, who are using earlier versions of Photoshop, you'll be able to follow along because our photo frames do work with earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. As well as for you Mac users, you'll be able to take advantage of the photo frames add-ons because they work for your Mac as well. So with that said, why don't we go ahead and get started in looking at how we went about creating this great looking layout. So first things first, let's just create a new blank file and let's make sure that we are doing a 20 by 10. Make sure that the color mode is set to RGB color. And there we have just our blank file. Now what I like to do when I start a new layout, I like to add guidelines right to the edge of my document bounds. This allows me to snap very easily to the edge of my document. Uh, it's just something that I've always gotten in the habit of doing. Now, the next step is to look at where do we access this new content that we've created for you. Under the content panel here in Photoshop Elements is where you would access it. And then we limit the content to frames because that's what we're talking about. And all of our frame packages um, come with these basic frame shapes. So if you have if you haven't don't have any of our frame packages you will get these basic shapes which are just different colored squares for doing different layouts in both square and circular uh, formats and then down here you see all of these great new frames that we've added in here for you there are all kinds of different effects um, and there's so many to choose from there's actually 65 different frames in each collection that we can utilize and I'm just going to show you just a couple of them uh, show you some really neat things that we can do so what I like to do first of all is just create a new blank document before we add any new frames to our layout and then we can begin to add our new frames so let's begin with a pink one just double click on our pink square that will add a pink frame which I'm then going to simply manually resize to take up the amount of room that I wish to take up. I think something like that will probably work out just fine. Now I am going to add a guideline here to the left edge of this new frame just by pulling it over, snapping it right to the left edge. Now what I would like to do is I'd like to go ahead and add another frame. So I'm just going to double click on one of these squares. That will create another new frame which I'll then reposition and resize to fit the other area. Now the next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and drop in my images that I intend to use for these two frames. So we'll start with our image of our girl. Just drag and drop. Just that easy. Photoshop Elements automatically resizes it to fit the frame. Very cool stuff. And then I'm going to switch over to a different set of albums here which is our background textures. We'll select one and drop it right into place. And then we have this beautiful texture all resized to fit our frame. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and continue on by grabbing our rectangle tool here in Photoshop. I'm going to set my foreground color to white and simply just drag out a little rectangle. And all that's going to do is create a new layer that's white. Now if we go over to the Layers palette, we got to make sure that these things are all lined up the way they should be. Our new shape layer should be on top of everything, so we just drag and drop. And then our image has to be on top of our texture. And the reason that the image has to be on top of our texture is because we're going to apply a layer style to this uh, very shortly. Um, so next thing we want to do is we want to apply a layer style to this shape. Now all of our frame sets also come with our very basic set of layer styles for Photoshop Elements. There's some things that we that we cannot do in Photoshop Elements that we actually did for you um, which is the ability for example to lower the fill opacity of a layer. So if I come over here to my effects tab I'm going to choose the Elements Designer Digitals Design Essentials Layer Set. These are all the different layer styles that, that make up this set. And one of them right here is the ability to add a color bar layer style. So we just click on that. 
And what that actually does is, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but what that does is it applies a lowered fill opacity with a little stroke. So I'm going to come over back over to my layers palette here and double click on this little FX. And that's going to allow me to change their stroke size to, to the 20 pixels that I'm looking for. And much more visible, much nicer there. Now, as long as I'm applying layer styles, let's go ahead and do one to the image over here on the left. And let's go back over here to effects and let's go back to our standard strokes that comes with Photoshop Elements and just choose maybe this black one right here. It's a little bit thick, but we can come over to our layers palette, change the color, change the size, and let's add a drop shadow. See, so we can do all these great things. Uh, we'll increase our distance, of course, and the size. Soften it up really nice. And that is a great, see that? And we can temporarily turn off the visibility of our guidelines so we can see that a bit more clearly. Really nice and defined there on the edge. Now here's where it gets fun is adding our new photo frames because um, they really can do create some very interesting effects. So let's explore, see what kind of photo frames we have here. And there's so many to choose from. Let's just grab one from our very first collection here. I think I'll grab this one right here. That's just going to add it here. And then I'm just going to rotate this. We rotate it around there. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And we'll just drop it right over here. And then we'll switch back over to our album that we were working on. And then let's just drop a drop an image in there. And I don't know what image to go with. Let's just go with this one. See what that looks like. Oh, that looks really nice. The only thing I might do here is I might just flip this horizontally. Because I think that actually might look a little bit now. Well, actually, it doesn't work very well that way because of the element that we have it setting in. So let's just go back in. That looks really pretty, just like that. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And then let's go ahead and add one more. But this will just be a basic square one here. And anytime we add a frame, we can see the outline. But all we're going to do is just come back into our Layers palette and just bring that frame up to the top. That's all you have to do. Just drag and drop that frame to the top. And then we can resize this to whatever size frame we need. Rotate it just a little bit, and then we'll find another image. Maybe this image right here will work really well. And then finally, just to kind of finish this off, let's go back over here to our effects. Go to our design essentials. We'll add just a basic white stroke with a basic drop shadow. And then over here, let's just add in a nice little drop shadow. And there we have it. Now we could finish this off over here on the left. Maybe do a little white overlay and watch this image have a lowered opacity. And there you go. So you can see, very quick, very easy. We create a really nice looking layout by taking advantage of these new photo frame, Photo Blocks Volume 1 from Elements Designer Digitals. So you can check it out. Have fun exploring and definitely check out our website for more free video tutorials and free content available for Photoshop Elements. And that would be at elementsdesignerdigitals.com. Thanks for watching.